Hi everyone, so today I want to talk about the beginner's guide of the scale of Googleology, or in other words, a simplified version of the uh, Googleology numbers classification. So I've made uh, some videos before, I think one of them is called the PSI levels, that one is uh, a lot more in detail, a lot more complicated, and on Googleology Wiki itself, it, there are like uh, 20 different classes of numbers, and in this video, I'm just going to simplify everything into 10 classes, but of course this is just in my own opinion so let's get started so class one numbers is basically in my opinion from zero or anything less than a trillion or trillions so somewhere around up to 10 to the 12 or 10 to the 14 because 10 to 14 is a hundred trillion so these are the numbers that can be uh, written down easily uh, in full so you know you can write one zero 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 you can write down all the zero relatively easily. Um, that's class one. And I pick trillion because that's where most people, most regular people know. Um, they probably don't know anything higher than trillion. So that's why I pick up to trillions. And then class two, starting from quadrillion, which is 10 to the 15. So one followed by 15 zeros. And of course, this is in the short scale. Um, and up to around a Google 10 to the 100. So these are the numbers that cannot be written down easily in full. So let's say a Google, you have to write 100 zeros. So I don't think anyone want to do that. And this level or this class of numbers require scientific notation or exponents to represent. So again, just like 10 to the 100, you know, you, you have to write it down that way. And then class three is around, you know, a Google up to 10, double arrow 10, uh, which is 10 to the 10 to the 10 with 10 tens. This is what I call the tetrational level or power tower level. You know, you have to write these number in terms of a power tower. You cannot even write it, you know, in terms of basic scientific notation with two levels. You cannot do that. Uh, basically, Google, another way to write it is 10 to the 10 to the 2. So kind of like a power tower already. And this class of numbers include the Google family of numbers, so Google, Google Plex, Google Plexian, or Google Triplex, something like that. And then class four is somewhere around 10 double arrow 10 to 10, 10 arrows 10. And I call this the up arrow level. So in this class of numbers, is even bigger than just power towers. I mean, it's getting difficult to write it in terms of power tower or, you know, even like, let's say numbers in uh, pentation, heptation, you know. Uh, so it requires more than two up arrows. Um, so this is the up arrow level. Um, so it includes, um, let's say, three, three arrows, three, or G1, you know, from Graham's number, it will be class four. And then class five is, you know, around 10, 10 arrows, 10 up to around Graham's number, you know, in that area, because Graham's number is famous. That's why I pick Graham's number here. Um, basically, this level is kind of like uh, repeated up arrows or iterated up arrows, whatever you want to call it. Um, basically, uh, and this one is F of Omega. Um, so this is like the uh, fast growing hierarchy. Um, this is around, you know, around this growth rate uh, in terms of uh, this kind of functions that generate these numbers. And then class six is, I call this the train, just the chain arrow level or whatever, uh, or the linear array BEAF. So basically chain arrow or the BEAF level, because these two are the most popular functions in this class so the growth rate it's around f of omega square to f of omega to the omega somewhere in that area um you know of course i skip something you know in in this list but i i picked the popular ones that's why uh let's say f of omega plus one or plus two i would just say it's class five something like that um, if it's close to f of omega square, you know, then, then I'll just make it class 6. Um, so linear BEF, you know, uh, something like that. It has a growth rate up to f of omega to the omega. And same thing for the, you know, there's some extension for the chain arrow notation that also grows uh, up to f of omega to the omega. The basic chain arrow is you know, is just f of omega square, which is same as for 
entry BAF. But anyway, they are all class 6 in my opinion. And then class 7 is the Tetrational Array BAF, the Goodstein Sequence, or the uh, Kirby Paris Hydra, you know, those are the more well-known functions. They have a growth rate of around F of Epsilon naught. Um, that's how I decide this for class 7. And then next class 8 is, you know, including the famous tree function, this big or small tree. And I also include the SCG and SSCG in here as well, although Google Audio Wiki probably put the SCG function closer to class 9, but I'll just group them in this case because they are similar. They're kind of related. Um, so this is also called the Bachmann's Collapsing uh, Level in on Google Audio Wiki. Next is class 9. This includes the loaders number and also maybe the finite promise game. Uh, this is a function, but the numbers generated by this game is, you know, in this class 9 level. So they are the, they also call the higher computable level. So those are computable functions, you know, loaders number came from a computable functions. So these are the, uh, probably the biggest numbers from computable programs or computable function. At least, you know, in Google G terms, it's slightly different from regular mathematics, you know, when they call, a lot of commenters say that as well. They say uh, computable numbers, uncomputable numbers. Uh, in Google G, uncomputable numbers means numbers generated from um, com uncomputable function. So not necessarily uh, uh, numbers that are actually uncomputable, you know. But anyway, the, the last class here is class 10, which includes the BC Beaver function. So numbers from BC Beaver or the Rayos function, Rayos number and the fish numbers, which is kind of related to the Rayos function. Um, there are a lot more numbers as well, but most of them are kind of ill-defined, so I didn't uh, include them here. So those are the biggest number um, in terms of Googleology. Uh, of course, not in not counting infinity. Infinity is not a number. So these are uncomputable numbers in terms of Googleology terms. Again, so those are numbers that are generated from uncomputable function. But you know, in Googleology Wiki, they call them uncomputable numbers. But in reality, they're not. You know, in mathematics terms, they're not really uncomputable. But anyway, so these are the 10 classes that I made or I defined. You know, it's kind of like a simplified version. You can probably simplify it even more, but, uh, but otherwise it would be too simplified. So anyway, feel free to leave any comments or questions. So thanks for watching and have a nice day.